What is happening guys? Uh, Floaster95 here, bringing you another tutorial. Only this one's going to be in Adobe Photoshop, or Adobe Photoshop, whatever you want to say. Um, I'm using CS5, but I'm not sure it'll just work the same in all the other ones. Uh, we're just going to be creating a water drop, like this one you can see on your screen here. And uh, this is pretty cool. It's pretty easy as well to do. It shouldn't take too long. So let's start off. And delete these. First, I uh, will create a new layer and go up to your marquee tool and grab an elliptical marquee tool and just make a oval shape or whatever shape you want to make. So I'll just go with this and we'll go to your gradient, change your color settings down the bottom left from or keep them up, put them on black to white, and then we'll go up to your gradient editor. Just go into your presets, so it should be the top left, foreground to background, black to white. Okay. And just grab your gradient and pull it from the top to the bottom, like so. And we'll change normal to overlay. And we can release our marquee tool now. And then we'll just right click, the blending options, select drop shadow. And we'll just make the size, uh, we'll just go to 27. Of course, you can tweak these settings to whatever you prefer, but I'll go with this. I'll go to inner shadow and make that size to 27 as well. Hit OK. And then just create another new layer. Go into your brush tool. And just make sure you're on a soft brush so your hardness will be at none. 0% soft brush. And go from, put it on a white color or a whitish grayish color, just keep it on white for me here. Um, we'll just left click on top of your, uh, your water drop and change your opacity to I'll go with 75. And I'm just going to move this up a bit more up to the top left corner. Oh, sorry, I'm just select it there. It's the top left, like so. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's an easy technique. Pretty good looking as well. Pretty, pretty real, pretty 3D, pretty realistic. And basically, all you'd have to do now would be, you know, duplicate it, and trail it up, or you can keep it duplicated, trail it up to a different spot, add it, transform, or pre transform even. it's pretty much pretty simple pretty easy to do so yeah if this tutorial helped uh, please drop a like uh, comment rate and subscribe thanks close to 95